of facing false charges in San Bernardino County, California, sitting in jail for almost half a decade without a trial. She's exposing the corruption within the legal system. Calling from the West Valley Detention Center in San Bernardino County, you are listening to Behind the Walls with Mercedes Carrera. I can look into other tanks and see meals 
walking around in t-shirts and boxer shorts without so much as a reprimand. And yet I'm being threatened with discipline for not having my socks on while my feet are wet, and I'm allowing them to dry, even though they're in my pocket. This is obviously targeted harassment, and it has to do with my profession. Um, so this is an unsafe environment. They're supposed to provide me a safe environment. I've never, ever had so many problems in my life. I have a tremendous amount of empathy, tremendous amount of empathy for kids who are being bullied at school now. I really do, because I understand what it is to be bullied and harassed by violent people and not be able to leave. I have made multiple requests to this person, and every single time, it's declined. Uh, you know, I've asked to be separated, I've asked to be put on a separate tier, I've asked to be put in the hole, to no avail. They're doing this to me on purpose. They're putting me in an unsafe environment on purpose. Now, I'm, I'm being quote-unquote guarded by somebody who has a personal vendetta against me. This is my design. And if I complain about it, guess what? It gets kicked up to Sergeant Patton, the man who arrested me on falsified documents <laughs> on, on a completely false case and called me a scumbag who is doing everything he can to not only has he destroyed my life, but is attempting to actively do so. Now, we talked about, somebody um, sent you information that there's a, a reporter in the industry who said, the porn industry is waiting to get more information on my case. They're waiting for the state to bring forward their evidence. Yeah. Well, guess what? That was, that, that was my preliminary trial. My preliminary trial happened in, I think it was August, of 2019. That was the state's opportunity to bring forth evidence against me. And guess what they brought forth? They brought forth an audio file. An audio file of allegations. That was it. Grand evidence against me. That's all. That's all they have. Because that's all there is. And I've said this multiple times. That's all they're holding me on. There is no tangible evidence. I don't know how many times I have to say this. And of course, the porn industry, being the cockroaches they are, scattered immediately. And it is my participation in that industry that is the reason I am being held here so Do you want to talk about a bunch of scumbags? The porn industry, they're a bunch of scumbags. Because my participation in that industry is the reason I'm still here. And yet, when I need help, they have all scattered. I helped many people in that industry. And very few of them, very, very, very few of them have gone to that. And, oh, they're waiting for the evidence. There is no evidence. What evidence? Oh, because because the state, because the, because the, the grand state, they're, they're waiting for the, for the word of the state. Yeah, because when has the state ever been the friend of the porn industry? Do they realize how flawed their logic is? That is insane. I've been here almost five years. Almost five years. My life has been ruined. And oh, they're, they're waiting to see if, if the state, what the state has to say. Yeah, because when has the state been friendly to porn actors? This could have happened to any one of them. And now, oh, they're waiting to see what the state has to say. Not realizing, by the way, at a preliminary trial, the prosecution has an opportunity to come forward and say, well, we're going to present this. And it just has to meet the litmus for trial. Now, in San Bernardino County, all that means is that there needs to be allegations. That's it. That's it. That doesn't seem like enough. I mean, yeah, I, mean I know. On, on, t- on the TV, the law and orders, you, you, the burden of proof is there, there has to be a lot of burden of, there has to be a lot of proof. And that's the problem. People watch television and think that television is reality, and it's not. Just like you would think every time I go to court, I would have an opportunity to see a judge, and the judge would, would censure the attorney to go, gosh, this is taking a while. But they don't, because judges are former prosecutors. I'm yelling at a tidal wave. Just like you would think you would think that inside of a jail, I would be safe. You would think. But hey, let me remind you, in L.A. County, 
Howie County, just County Over, which is actually ostensibly a better county because they offer zero dollar bail and they don't hold people for years and years until trial, they were still caught abusing inmates inside the jail. This just happened. And San Bernardino County is much, much worse. Much worse. Because San Bernardino County is a conservative county. So according to people who are in charge of San Bernardino County, they don't want people like me in their county. And you would think that the porn industry would say, oh gosh, you know, here's one of our own. But there's there's no evidence. There's, there are allegations. There are allegations against them. That's it. But just like the cockroaches they are, they all scatter immediately. And they've left me here to walk. <coughs> And if I were in any other profession, I probably wouldn't be here still. That's the irony. I mean, there are actual, actual pedophiles. They get arrested in this county. A lot of them are teachers, because guess what? Pedophiles like to work with children. Shocking, right? And they get released on bail all the time. Very reasonable bail. <laughs> Unbelievable. San Bernardino County goes, oh, well, but he might be a pedophile, but he seems like a nice guy who's a teacher, coaches Little League. So even though we found actual child pornography on his computer, let's let him back out to the side. Meanwhile, in my case, there's not a shred of evidence. Even though there was an ongoing child custody case, and by the way, I am not somebody who's ever endeavored to work with children. At all. I am a zero threat to the community. And then they set my bail at $2 million after I had already been incarcerated almost a year. And they did that intentionally so that it was out of reach. How fair does that make? Uh, not, not, not at all. I mean, it just, it just it, seems like a, a colossal waste of time and money. It's not, though, because they make money off of the occupancy inside the jail. And that is the piece of the puzzle that people aren't getting. Yeah. It is not a waste. They they are actually making money off of holding people. And this is why they don't mind if this goes on for years. They go, you know what, just let her, let her rot. Let her rot in jail. We'll just hold her indefinitely. Because guess what? We fucked up on this case, and we don't want to have to pay the civil suit. So let's just either hope she dies or she gets killed. And we'll make her so fucking miserable that we'll try to get her to plead out on a charge she didn't do so that we don't have to pay her. And that's their modus operandi right now. That's what they're doing to me. And they're hoping I stay silent. And that's why I won't. This is why I won't stay quiet. Because I want people to understand how this works. And even if, if it's only 40 people who understand how this works, fine. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that my words spread and people understand how this works. Look, there are many people out there who are criminal justice reform advocates who have been saying this. But a lot of times they're advocating for people who are very, very guilty. Right. So they're saying, oh gosh, it's unfair because, you know, this person who shot up a liquor store, you know, mm -hmm. criminal justice system is unfair to him, and yada, yada, yada. And I'm saying, hey, I don't deserve to be in here. And I'm being mistreated in here. And you can't do this to all the people all the time. San Bernardino County does this to all the people all the time because they say, oh, these people are a bunch of scumbags. It's guys like Donald Patton. Oh, they're just a bunch of loser scumbags. A bunch of meth heads. Bunch of tolos, bunch of n words. So they just think that they can do this to all the people all the time. That's how they operate. 
potential. They don't bother to follow proper procedure. They don't bother to get warrants. They don't bother to treat people with a modicum of respect. They treat people, and then, and then once they have them incarcerated, they go, well, we can do whatever we want because we are the law. They talk them why. They think they're King Louis the Fourteenth, And they're not. And I have a problem with it. You just see, we file on, on uh, I'm not, I'm not one of these people. And that's, and this is, this is the problem with this entire county. They make the presumption that everybody here is absolutely uneducated, absolutely uneducated as to what their rights are, and can be bullied and bossed around. And you know what? I mean, to a certain extent, that's true, because once they incarcerate you, there's, there's very little you can do. There's very little you can do. That's how the system is set up. I mean, this is, this is the problem with having such a, you know, large, Apparatus. And, you know, and I'm talking to multiple people, and they say, oh, how can this happen? And, you know, the state can't do that. Yes, they can. Once they put you in handcuffs, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. You know, they, they say, oh, well, the law, the law, the law. It's only, it's, it's only as effective as, as the people who are in charge of it. All right, take a look at take a look at our system right now. Okay, Hunter Biden, Hunter Biden has engaged in a bunch of illegal activities. That if he were a poor black kid, he would be in federal prison for life. Right? Yeah. Right, but because he's the president's son, he's out walking around free, and maybe he'll plead out a misdemeanor for tax evasion. I mean, mu- e- e- even even like he probably would have been in jail for for the gun charges alone. Absolutely, absolutely. That's that's in look. That's I mean that's been the case throughout history. Throughout history, and and I will tell you, this is something you don't understand until you're stuck in this quagmire. There's a very jurisdictional uh, difference, county to county, county to county. Things are different because my understanding is in San Bernardino County, if someone makes allegations against somebody else, and it doesn't matter what they are, it could be child abuse allegations, it can be terrorist threats allegations. That's enough to put somebody in jail, and because of how their system is set up, where jail is a profit center for the sheriff's department, they are more than happy to go arrest people and put them in jail. Indefinitely. See what a problem that is? Yeah. Other jurisdictions, see LA County, LA County says, hey, we're, we're just going to start closing some of these jails because they've had to pay on these civil suits because of the malfeasance of their deputies because they're generalized population. Mm-hmm. They've made the mistake of arresting the wrong people too many times. They go, oh, this kid's just some dumb thug, and then it turns out that that quote unquote dumb thug is some celebrity kid who happens to be playing rapper, right? Mm. So then he, that kid, gets beat up in jail by a deputy, and now what do you know? They're paying out ten million dollars. So LA is a little more skittish about arresting people and holding them in jail because they go, well, we don't know exactly who this person is. We don't know if this is going to be a problem. San Bernardino County says, oh, these people are all trash. Hold them indefinitely. Who cares? If we make a mistake in the arrest, well, then just hold them for years until they're so miserable that they plead. That's the modus operandi. If they have a solid case, they'll, they'll take you to trial and make the plea almost immediately. If they don't have a solid case, then they'll hold you indefinitely until you're so fucking miserable or sick that you're like, I'll do anything to get out of here. I mean, you guys don't understand. I, 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 I've gotten COVID five times. I have hemolytic anemia. My left eye has developed some sort of weird twitch. Like a, I have like a neurological issue. There. I, have, I, I have extreme back pain. The, the, the mattresses that they give us, I, I use that term loosely, are like an inch thick. 
I live in the equivalent of a small bathroom with another person. I am constantly bullied here because I am unwilling to act like a stupid hood rat. I mean, how how, how, be, uh, <laughs> how 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 have you been bullied by the by the inmates? Like, what what has been done to you? Well, you know, women are incredibly mean, mm-hmm. incredibly mean, and incredibly mm. um, envious. And so, the problem that I have with these women is that I number one don't act like a stupid, dumb hood rat from the Inland Empire. I don't talk like one. I'm not covered in tattoos like one. I have all my teeth. That's a big one. Mm-hmm. And uh, and they're a lot of it, they're just they're jealous. They're jealous, and I've been threatened multiple times, multiple times. Hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, like. What would uh, like as someone that has been bullied growing up? What would, like how how did it start? Like what what would what would be the catalyst? Well, you, you know, here's here's what here's what it is. There are some of the girls who like me and mm-hmm. think it's I'm um, cool, right? But there's one in particular. Mm-hmm. She's a very unattractive, dark skinned, uh, ugly Muslim. And uh, she doesn't like me because she wants to be the center of attention. And so she spends all her time trying to turn all these girls against me. And that, and so, and all you need is one or two of them to do that. It's like I'm stuck in hood rat junior high. I mean, I would, I would say, I would say, salam alaikum, my salam, my sisters. No, it doesn't work like that. Does it? Oh no! And I look. I've I've done everything I can to try to be nice to that person and to all of them here, mm-hmm. and it doesn't work. But I tried. Believe me, I tried. But I think it makes it matter. I mean, it, you know, it, and that's that's the thing. I, you know, I'm dealing. Keep in mind, I'm dealing with trash. These are these are people who are just trash. The uneducated trash, and you know when you're. When you're nice to people like that, it makes me even more mad. But, you know, it's one thing to have problems with the inmates. This man was a deputy on top of it. Hmm. I shouldn't have to have problems. You know, I, it was funny. I think it was my second public defender had said to me, Oh, you're not being guarded by men, are you? And I said, why? He goes, oh, like, you know, I, I, I would be uncomfortable with you being guarded by men. I got to tell you, the female deputies here have been mostly, 90% of them, absolutely hostile towards me. Terrible. There are some good ones. Most of them are in their 30s. But the young ones have been absolutely terrible to me. Because of my profession. And the funny thing is, a lot of them, when I showed up here, you know, I used to play a cop a lot in a lot of my videos. And so I would get my call sheet, and my call sheet would always say, light makeup, don't wear, no heavy lashes, you know, you're playing a cop, right? And then I got here, and so many of these women who are, especially these younger deputy sheriffs, they wear these heavy porn lashes, heavy makeup. It's completely bizarre. Professional. I'm surprised no one's coming up to you for makeup tips. Then. No, I think that I think that's part of why they absolutely hate me. You know, it's like there's like this weird inversion where they wish that they had my job, and they're choosing to be cops instead. I mean, they haven't all been terrible. There's you know, like five or six that have been decent, or a couple of those that have been great. But for the most part. I shouldn't have to deal with this. I'm just sitting here, waiting, trying to clear my name in this extremely corrupt place. Hmm. 
I don't know. It just sounds like an entire shit show. A what? A, a shit show. It just, it just sounds like a Oh, complete... it's terrible. It's terrible. It is absolutely awful. It is absolutely corrupt. It is absolutely terrible. And one would think, one would think that after almost five years here, if they can't produce any actual evidence, one would think that I would have some just cause to at least be out on an angle monitor, to be out on my own recognizance. Right? Yeah. I'm not a threat to society. At all. But there's, um, they have a vested interest in attempting to make me absolutely miserable. So that they can get me to plead to a charge that I did not do. So they can say, see, 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 I told you she's guilty. See? And I won't do it. I will not. Hmm. I don't think they expected me to be as absolutely stubborn as I am. Because a lot of the inmates here go, oh, well, you know, prison's better. Oh, you get multiple sets of clothes. Or you just get bunny rabbits. You get better food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'd have to be around 5,000 of these idiots. Are you kidding me? Oh, but you get to take classes. Oh, oh boy. I get to get an associate's degree from a community college online. Wow, that sounds amazing. I get to get, get it in underwater basket weaving and Chicano studies. It sounds so great. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, if there was ever just cause to take them off, it would be that. I mean, most of these people have absolutely no. They're, they're not. They're going nowhere fast anymore. But I had a wife before this. So that's, this is what I have to say. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I want and I want the industry to understand that if they're waiting for some sort of mostly done evidence, that they're going to be waiting for a long time. Mm-hmm. These are idiots. And how dare they? How dare they? Because I was the one, I was the one in the industry that was always helping them. And when I need them, they're all at the only person, I think the only person that really has actually caught the path for me is Jessie Dubai. And I love her. God bless her. But the rest of them could fuck right off. And that's how I feel. And I'm very grateful for the two fans stuck in there with me. But, you know, one thing I learned is, for the most part, people don't give a fuck. They just don't care. Aside from you, aside from a few people who stuck in there with me, they just don't care. So, and, you know, that's why people have asked me, are you going back to the industry? Fuck no. Fuck no. I put a lot of myself, a lot of myself, into that profession. A lot of myself into every scene I did. I put so much of myself into it. And my reward has been nothing. Nothing. Like, now that I actually meet people, you know, I can count the people who really helped me on two years. Considering how much of myself I put into my career and my profession and every scene I did, so many of those people that I worked with absolutely turned on me immediately. And that's hurtful. That's really hurtful. Hmm. I'm sorry. 
it's not your fault, but that you know, that's something that's something to say for the record. That's why a lot of the girls come out of the industry so bitter. So bitter. Seems like it, it, it would. It would. It, it seems like that it's done like that by design because you know it, they're constantly searching for new girls, so it has to be a meat grinder. Like, okay, we're done with this one. I mean, how come? How come? Right. I mean, that that's the thing I don't get. I mean, with with every with with some of the porn stars that that come out or porn actresses. Or actors that come out like jaded and whatnot. What makes what makes a Nina Hartley, a Sarah J, and Ava Divine just stick on? They just hang in there. Yeah, they hang in there. You know, I mean, look, like there's there's kind of an ebb and flow to the industry. Mm-hmm. So you know, if you're willing to continue making your own content, putting it out, there's a lot of platforms you can put your own content out, and you can keep doing it. I, I was working like crazy. Like, so, so when I got arrested, I had a whole month booked in February. I was arrested February 1st. I had, that whole month was booked solid. I was working like crazy, even five years into my career. So I wasn't having any problems working. Um, there's, that's the thing. Like, there are actresses with longevity. You can stay on top of that and you can work. Mm-hmm. It's a meat grinder for the girls who kind of come in and think it's going to be an easy job. I think they're going to just, you know, be able to just lay there and, you know, come in and do drugs and party and it's easy. It's not. It's work. And if you put a lot of yourself into it, you'll get a lot out of it. And that's what I did. I put a lot of myself into all of my things. I worked hard. I went to the gym all the time, I stayed on top of my fitness, I was really on top of my performance part. And then this catastrophe happened. And part of the reason it's so ongoing was because of my career. It's because of who I was in the outside world and you would think the industry would support me. And instead, they've just abandoned me. And that's, that's what pisses me off. And this is part of why I'm, I'm so hell-bent on just fighting and fighting and fighting. Because I have to. I have no choice. So when you do come out, um, and it's a it's a bad, it's when not if. Uh, yeah, I know I know how much you hate when when I say I have faith. Uh, uh, but but I, but I do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are you gonna are you gonna go after the industry and just start exposing them? Well, I mean, you know, I think they do a good job of exposing themselves. To be honest. That's um, pun not intended. <laughs> but I'm Tish. They do. Yeah. They do. I mean, you know, they they do a good job of exposing themselves. They're in their own actions, what they're doing, how they behave, what they support, how they are with people. I was. You have one minute people. left. I've been warned about this multiple times. By multiple people. I did not heed that one. And now here I am. This happens to everybody. It's kind of like, it's, I read somewhere, every politician's career ends uh, poorly. Well, every porn career ends poorly. And here it is. So, that's all I have. I love you. Yeah, love you too. Be safe. Mwah. Thank you. I'm going to try. Hopefully, hopefully I won't continue to be harassed, but if I am, email, email West Valley Detention Center for me. All right, will do.
Thank you. Bye. The caller has hung up. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Information on how to write to Mercedes and to put money on our books, go to FreeMercedesCarrera.com. That's FreeMercedesCarrera.com. <laughs>